Right. Um, so yeah, I mean, being like a Bitcoin analyst, I think it, you know, it's definitely something you need to keep in mind, but at the same time, like, I'm not going to sit here and like pretend that I'm like this expert macro analyst. Right. And so like, I think it's, it's almost difficult enough already to keep up with the Bitcoin market, let alone like predict, you know, what's going to go on with macro. And so the way I kind of look at this is like, if, if investor behaviors change, then you'll see that through price and on-chain data. Um, and so those are kind of the two like true tellers because, you know, obviously like macro included in this, like there's a lot of variables, right? And so to kind of just like get, you know, the signal of all of that information, you know, in, in, uh, in a concise way, you can look at what's the behavior of the investors on chain. And, and you know, the, the purest version of that is just looking at what the price action is telling you because that's the aggregated opinion of all market participants about all information given, right? Uh, and so, yeah, I mean, I don't really, I don't really like, like try to read too much into what's going on with the Fed. You know, I have people much smarter than me that I listen to in that regard. Um, but yeah, I mean, in terms of like what people or what the market thinks about it, I just watch what happens, you know, with price and, and what happens in the on-chain data to kind of gauge what people are making of that. Because, you know, that, that's like literally telling you the reaction of, of people to all the information at, at hand.